Well, it's a little muggy out. Not terribly hot. It's supposed to get rain later tonight, pretty much all day tomorrow. And it's supposed to cool down into the 70s almost all week. Although then I saw next Sunday. It's supposed to be 80, 80, 80 I don't know, middle to upper 80s with a heat index of 95. I'm gonna open the hood up on the old green truck here. And the reason I'm doing that, I wanna wire my lights up. I think I may move the truck over that way just a little bit. But yes, I wanna get all these lights in this fancy new bumper that I have working. Get, the, uh, get, some, get some switches hooked up in the cab and get it done. And if you didn't see the video on this bumper, which would have been the video before this one, Go check it out. store in a town a few miles away and I got rained on. Doesn't seem to have uh, made too much of a mess though. Anyway, first things first here. If I'm going to show any of this, I think I better get a light set up out here. But I want to get this two-way radio, which you probably can't even see. I want to get that taken out of here. So like I was saying, I want to get that two-way radio. Well, taken out of its spot. I'm gonna put it somewhere else, either under the seat or back behind the seat. Don't really use it too often. I need to put this light on a taller stand. Too bad that John Shiel, where I got that bumper from, when he was out here, it's too bad he didn't leave those two boxes of lights or forget them or something. I could have made a whole lot of work lights out of those. Just kidding, John. Anyway, I'm gonna get that radio relocated and then I'm gonna see about getting this mounted up in there. I think I may paint this. I think I may just paint it black. I don't know, I'll see what it looks like once I get that radio out. Well, it's been a day or two since I started this project the other night and got the radio taken out. I did discover that the, the bulb that used to be in here, this just doesn't work anymore. I tried a couple new bulbs and it just does not work. So I'm gonna figure out something there. I have an idea. But here's the panel that I have. Got it painted up and put these switches in it. That's what I'm gonna use. You could use whatever switches you wanna use. I like these uh, just kind of old school toggle switches. Not to mention, I had them on hand. And I also have some relays, fuse taps, wire loom, and there, there's something else. Relays, fuse taps, wire loom, there's four things I ordered. I, I don't remember what the last one is off the top of my head. Okay, relays, fuse taps, wire loom, and then a fusible section to go from go from like the battery to the relay, and it has a fuse built into the wire. You'll see what I'm talking about, but instead of doing something like this, it has a little little box that you put a fuse in and you close it up. I think that'd be better than this. Not exactly sure where I'm gonna put the relays may put them over here like right down in here somewhere or might actually be more room over on this side we'll figure it out and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of some of this wiring that i did before i don't like the way it is and since i'm going to be putting relays in like to get the wires in an actual wire loom going to where they're going and I think I said before there's going to be a switch that is going to control the light bar there's going to be a separate switch that will control the pods and there will be like one main switch where you can turn everything on all at once half tempted to leave this radio out or mount it up in here somewhere 
really just don't use it very much. Maybe just a little bit in the spring and the fall and that's it. George, you need to get down. You keep knocking stuff over. So I have everything all neat and tidy here and then you come up and make it a mess. Just kidding, it's, it's a mess anyway. But I took this and I fit it up in the truck. I did have to trim off just a little bit off of this edge over here. Painted it up, got the switches in there. And as far as a light goes, George, just get down. You're causing trouble here, buddy. As far as a light goes, I'm thinking what I may do is hook one of these up, solder, solder a wire onto this end and the other end, and then I'll mount that sucker up in there, kind of like that. Only problem is I think that light might be a little too bright. Now another option you could do if you were doing something like this is get George. Anyway, it would be to get different type of switches that, that lit up. Might be the smart way to go. And the way that this was originally done, it had this little housing that went over the bulb and the bulb would sit in here and then there's just this little opening right there that would let light come through. I don't know if that would be enough light or not, but the wiring in there right now, I can't get a bulb to come on in that socket in there. So I'm gonna figure something else out. And you really wouldn't need a whole lot of light shining in here to light the, light the switches up. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I may put a hole up in through here so I can hook up a switch in there or I may go ahead and just wire this one in and try it. And if it's too much, have to take it out, try something else. Main thing right now, I wanna get this installed with all the switches hooked up and get all the relays and everything wired up. Make sure the light bar works or, or all the lights on the bumper work. Not terribly concerned about a light in here at the moment, although I would like to have something. And actually switches that lit up themselves would probably be the way to go. Although I just, I don't know. I like old school toggle switches like that for some reason. That would be why I got them and that would be why I have them. And I'll go over more of this in my next video. I wanna get a video out for you guys. So I'm making this video. Had to order some parts. They're not gonna be here till tomorrow. But I thought I'd go over this real quick. I'll probably go over this more in depth in my next video. But as far as how a relay works, basically it's, a, it's an elect electrical switch and this would be, these are the pins on the back of the relay. And you get your power, where is it? Coming in from the battery, goes into the 30 pin, which has a fuse in it. So you get 12 volt from your battery, goes through a fuse, and that connects to pin 30. Pin 85 goes to a ground. 86, this comes, this is where I'm using the fuse tap in the fuse box. And then that, the wire coming out of that fuse tap connects into the switch in the cab. It takes very, very little energy to trigger the relay. So there's not much power at all going through your switch. So then you run a wire from the switch through your firewall and this will connect into the relay on pin 86. So that's the only wire that you need to have going through your firewall. And then pin 87, that wire hot wire goes out to your lights, connects to your lights, and then there's also a ground on the lights, which then, of course, goes to ground. And like I said in my next video, I'll go over that a little more in depth and show you all the bits and pieces and how I'm doing this and why you should do it using relays. I know some people, they've done it without using relays. They just connect hot and ground to, uh, to a switch in the cab and you really don't want to be doing that. And in fact, most switches probably won't handle the, the current that you need to run a light bar. And I really don't know the specs on this light bar or the pods on lumens or how much power they take or what brand. I don't really know anything about the lights. But rather be safe than sorry and that's, that's the right way to do it. And what you could do, there's not a lot of, in fact, I don't think there's any open spaces on this truck for fuses, not in the fuse box in the cab anyhow. And I mean, there's plenty of room under here. What you could do and what I may do in the future is wire up a new fuse box in here for running things like this. Wouldn't have to be a very big fuse box. And you could also wire in a re another relay box like this one over here. In fact, you could probably pull one out of the junkyard and wire it in. 
and there's not really any extra things in there. I don't really feel like taking this out and figuring out what's what underneath of it either. But you certainly could do that, wire in a whole new fuse panel under the hood here and a relay box. But the relays I'm getting, they're made to just mount right up to the firewall and I've, I've got plenty of space here to do that with. And if you're wondering how do you connect the wires to the relay, well the relays that I'm getting have, have pigtails coming off of them. They're already connected, pigtails are hanging down, so then you can just connect wires to the pigtail wherever they need to go. And I'm sure a lot of you already know all of this, but I'm gonna go over it anyway. There's a lot of people that don't know, and I'll try to explain it all the best I can. Also, how the, how the fuse tap works, very simple. I'm hoping the one that I get actually works. I don't have a lot of room in that fuse box between the fuses and the cover, and if it doesn't work, we'll figure something out. And then I'm also getting, getting some of this, this wire loom type stuff. Don't really like just having wires running all over the place. I'd rather have them in a loom like that. And I know I ran the ones down below under the truck. I just ran a wire and I zip tied it quite often underneath there. But now that I'm starting to get more wires for accessories underneath there, I want them in a wire loom. Just looks nicer, the wires aren't, uh, they aren't near as likely to get damaged. And also just helps protect them a little bit from heat elements, all that kind of stuff. So I'll go over all that a little more in detail in my next video. Probably going to be making that tomorrow if all my parts come in. And this here, I mean this works. There's nothing wrong with this. I soldered these two wires onto the end of a fuse and then I took rubber tape or liquid tape I guess and covered the terminals on that fuse with that and then I wrapped it all up in tape. I mean there's nothing wrong with that. It works. But the ones that I'm getting are, they're easier to use, easier to change the fuse if it would happen to blow, and just a lot better. So we'll get into a little bit more of that tomorrow. I did send off some channel stickers just a few minutes ago, and I actually was wearing this, uh, this sweatshirt last night. It actually got a little chilly last night. But if you'd like to get a channel sticker of your own, or with the nights that are starting to get a little cooler off and on, a zipper hoodie, regular hoodie, t-shirts, that kind of stuff. Link for all that's down below. Also, if you have a license plate to send in, haven't got any here in a while, for the license plate wall or anything else that you want to send into the Fox Shop, Kitty Treats, you'll find the address where you can send said stuff down in the description. George is just taking it easy today. And it is not a bad day at all today here in Central Iowa. We got a couple inches of rain yesterday or yesterday and the night before. But today, very light wind. It's only in the 70s right now, low humidity. Need to get the grass mowed. I tell you, we got that rain and I think the grass just turned green and shot up about two inches overnight. But it's supposed to be in the upper 80s here over the weekend with heat index in the mid to upper 90s from what I've seen. Summer's not over yet. And I may have to go get some more wire Got plenty of black. Don't have a whole lot of red. I don't know if I have any more wire around here or not. I'm not sure what gauge this is. Might not hurt to go get some new wire. Well, I'll figure all that out. In the meantime, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.